Here to present the Bold Vision for Sustainable Business Award is Jose Bravo, Executive Director of the Just Transition Alliance and Director of the National Campaign for Healthier Solutions. JTA is a coalition of environmental justice and labor organizations. Together with frontline workers and community members who live along the fence line of polluting industries, they create healthy workplaces and communities. All yours, Jose. Well, thank you, Kathy, and, and uh, congratulations to Clean and Healthy New York. Um, I'm very honored to be able to give this award out to an organization that um, has been in the mix for many, many years. And at the same time, um, when we talk about a just transition, and a lot of us worked and came out of the, the, the initial part of the environmental justice movement. Um, one of the things that we saw was that uh, we were pretty good at dealing with incinerators, toxic waste dumps, and a bunch of other things that were causing um, disproportionate impact in our communities, but we hadn't taken the time out to talk to the workers inside those plants. So we did uh, a, you know, an, an assessment. And lo and behold, uh, workers came to us and said, hey, here's this thing called the just transition. And I say this because um, I'm here to give the award to the Green Worker Cooperative Cooperatives. And I remember Omar 20, maybe I don't want to, you know, put a date on on. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, 50, at least 15 years ago, coming up to us and saying, hey, you know, we have to um, start thinking about, you know, how we can own some of those businesses, how we can move some of those businesses within our communities. So the Green Worker Cooperative incubates workers, worker-owned green businesses to build strong local economy, a, a strong local economy in the Bronx that's rooted in democracy and environmental justice. They do work to support healthy, to support safe, dignified, productive jobs and businesses for the Bronx BIPOC community. Their mission statement, uh, the Green Worker Cooperatives is based in the South Bronx and serves immigrant and communities of color. Of color. We build, grow, and sustain worker-owned green businesses to create a strong local and democratic economy rooted in racial and, and gender equity. The vision that they have is that they envision the world where pe all people enjoy an economy that works for everyone, for all. Working cooperatively, we have equitable power, wealth, resources, and nurture healthy relationships with each other and the earth. Like I said before, um, Brother Omar has been at it for a long time. And I hope uh, at some point, Brother Omar could take what, his, what he's learned and what he's done uh, with the Green Worker Cooperatives and, and help us move these model type programs in other places, not just New York and not just the Bronx. Um, we need it out here in California, we need it everywhere. So I'm honored to give Green Worker Cooperatives this award. Yay! Thanks so much, Jose. It's um, it's an honor and a privilege. Uh, it's an honor and a privilege not just to to be here, but it's an honor and a privilege to have you as someone who's who's handing this over to me. And so I, I really appreciate it. Um, I the the work of Green Worker Cooperatives comes out of the environmental justice movement. Sure. Uh, it's a product of getting you know getting the question. Well, if if we don't get this dirty plant, then what else is there? You know, what are, what's the other thing? What's the alternative? And, you know, after a while you hear that and your inclination is to, you know, go for alternatives, then, you know, there's nothing left to do but create it because, you know, no one's creating it for us. So, so what we do at Green Worker Cooperatives is helping people to actually launch businesses that are owned and controlled by people of the community, by the workers themselves so that we can actually have a real shift in our economy, a shift that 
moves the moves the center of control from capital from from money uh, from those who have it you know who aren't in the communities that are being impacted to the people of the communities themselves and that's when you make that shift and you put people at the center of it you put people's interests at the center of it that means you have a you have a completely a complete shift in what's what's valued what's considered important then you know the relationship to the community becomes important the the relationship between between the business and workers and health and safety those things become important it becomes important what the conditions of the local schools are because that's the where that's where your kids go to school you know so it, it becomes important you know what kind of health facilities are there because that's where you go you don't pick up and move town you don't leave the country your business doesn't do it because if the business does it it's only because you do it and all of you do it so the the nature the idea of a worker owned business or a worker cooperative is that people are at the center of it you put people at the center of it then you put people at the center of the economy so that's really what our work was was created to be and it's all been it's been 16 years of of learning in the whole process and as a result you know we've we've grown we've been able to build build an ecosystem of support uh, around people developing and owning and controlling their own worker co-ops so that now more and more people are aware of it more and more aware in New York City and more more aware of others um, my my kids uh, you know you know, who are here, you know, talk about how they want to start up their own businesses, especially this one here, who's, who's talking, she's already got her crew of bakers and they've got a, a cooperative baking business and they've already made sales. So, you know, it's about creating the opportunities for people to really see that, you know, we can create businesses and own them and there, we don't have to have this image of some great white savior, some great white business that's going to descend from the sky and create jobs for us that that capacity is within us and that's one of the the greatest one one of the great sins of of capitalism has been that the relation human relationships have been broken and that we have people who grow up and live with this idea that that um, you we can't do it ourselves that we can't pool our resources and take care of ourselves that we have to rely on some external entity some external savior in order to do it so you know, we're, we're here, we're based in the Bronx. Our connections, you know, go all over the place. So we're about building a movement. So Jose, we're, you know, we want to be where, you know, everywhere, you know, and build real relationships so that it's not just here in the Bronx and New York City, but, you know, we're growing a movement and that movement, you know, is, is widespread. So, you know, that's, that's a bit of the, the work we do. We've got, you know, over 40 different worker cooperatives in all kinds of industries from uh, from doulas and, and health to solar panel installations uh, to you know um, uh, to to all kinds of artisan crafts and composting so you name it you know there's a worker cooperative that's in that sector and there if you can think of it then they, it can be you know you can create and you can have worker cooperatives that are about that so you know we see this work as as critical and at the end of the day it's about shifting what is considered to be ownership, you know, who owns and controls and, you know, creating, creating it so that people are at the center of that. And it's not capital. Uh, it's not, it's not money with no, no personal interest, no face, no grounding in community. So that's what we're about. And I thank you, you know, for all of you at Clean and Healthy New York for this award, uh, for myself, for all our whole team at Green Worker Cooperatives, our staff, our board, our, our cooperatives, my family here, thank you.